Environmental toxicology is a study of adverse effects of pollutants upon ecosystem and human. Carbon dioxide poisoning is caused by abnormal level of carbon dioxide in human upper airway. It may also occur in other organisms, which means the amount of carbon dioxide is much higher than oxygen, causing difficulties in breathing, headaches, and nausea. Carbon is a key element of organic life on Earth. During daytime, oxygen is released as a byproduct of photosynthesis. When sunlight strikes a leaf, the energy in the sunlight is captured and used to convert six molecules of carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere into the six carbon sugars, glucose. Process of oxidative respiration, plants release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This occurs predominantly at night when they are not using carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Due to these processes, carbon dioxide poisoning may occur in a place that has many trees, such as forests. Therefore, in order to prevent carbon dioxide poisoning, avoid staying in a pool of trees at night. Carbon dioxide is produced through the process of respiration. In addition, the scenario will become more worse if there are many people in this which is enclosed space. Ventilation in the leaf can cause lack of oxygen and accumulation of carbon dioxide. This can cause shortness of breath, headache, and unconsciousness. This symptom happen when our organ in our body do not accept enough oxygen to function properly, and they are receive excessive of carbon dioxide on blood and tissue level, thus cause carbon dioxide intoxicant. For the recommendation, if there are a lot of people waiting for elevator, use the staircase instead. Carbon dioxide poisoning is also can cause from contaminated air in the scuba tank. If we take in exhaust gases, the amount of the carbon dioxide in the air we breathe can increase. It seems the carbon dioxide concentration 0.5 to 1% in breathing air has no negative effects. However, as partial pressure rises constantly the deeper you dive, the concentration of carbon rises too. At a depth of 10 meter, the air contains twice as much as carbon dioxide as on the surface which 
tremendously increase the risk of carbon dioxide poisoning. The initial symptoms of poisoning are deeper accelerated breathing and headaches, which increase concentration of carbon dioxide, there is increased partial pressure, drowsiness and vomiting may occur. This problem can be reduced if you decrease the carbon dioxide concentration or partial pressure by surfacing or by admitting fresh air. Carbon dioxide poisoning can cause even by snorkeling with an over long snorkel. The problem here is pendulum breathing. Another kind of carbon dioxide poisoning is breathlessness. While scuba diving, the combination of high airway resistance and gut exertion can cause the breathing muscle to tighten. This causes breathing to become quicker and shallower and not enough carbon dioxide is breathed out. As the concentration of carbon dioxide rises, the brain gives a signal for breathing in more and more quickly. There is not enough time for breathing out and the breathing gets shallower and shallower. The rising concentration of carbon dioxide causes a symptom of poisoning, headaches, dizziness and nausea. In the worst case, the diver lose consciousness which can lead to death by drowning. If you are breathing become more and more shallow and you notice you can't hold your breath for at least one second, show your driving partner signal for breathlessness. You must breathe up deeply and ascend to alleviate airway resistance. High airway resistance may also be caused by badly maintained a regulator valve, insufficiently open valve, and tight diving suits. لأجاريهم قلت ظاهر ما فيهم فبدوت شخصا آخر كي أتفاخر 
وظننت أنا أني بذلك حزت غنى فوجدت أني خاسر فتلك مظاهر لا نحتاج المال كي نستاد جمالا جوهرنا